everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is Michael Jameson and today we are reviewing a new product from the Weetabix and Go range. This is the high in protein sub brand I guess and this one is blueberry and blackberry. There were three flavours. There was this one I think raspberry and pomegranate and vanilla. I think that's what they were. The vanilla one definitely was. I can't remember what the third one was. Oh, it says chill me and shake me on the lid. It's been from the fridge, so that's the first part done, or second, whatever. Comes with a foil cap. It expires in March. Hmm. Hmm, that's not too bad actually. The flavour is somewhat light, but it does have a quite a nice thick-ish texture. Relatively similar to the other ones where it's got like a bit of a cereal taste, but this is a bit lighter on that as well. Not overly sweet either, which I suppose is good for health people. Well assuming it is low in sugar. I don't know if it is. You tell me, I don't really know what any of that means. I'm not a nutritionalist. Mm. The combination of blueberry and blackberry does actually work really well. They seem to complement each other rather well with a slight fragranty fruitiness of the blueberry against quite the dark, well, quite the dark urban forest fruit. Floralish? Not really floral. Urban. I think urban is a good description of the blackberry. Not too bad. I'd be interested to try the vanilla one to see how that compares to the standard Weetabix on the go. I would give that three stars. I think it was one pound and it was it was around one pound fifty-ish. Um, for you know high protein drink, that's not too bad. So I guess you you protein nuts might like this one. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Let me know in the comments if you've had the new high protein range from Weetabix and Go. Follow our new Instagram account at Fruckgram and subscribe for more videos. Wake up please! <laughs>